Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful animated paper background for your videos. You will find all the expressions and effect settings pinned in the comment section below. We will be using quite a few expressions, so it's important that you name your compositions and layers exactly as I do, otherwise some expressions might not work correctly. First, let's create a new composition called Animated Paper Texture. Next import the two paper textures from the zip folder, which you can download using the first link in the video description. Drag the two textures into your timeline and fit them to the composition size by right clicking, selecting transform and then fit to comp. Or simply use the shortcut Ctrl Alt F. Now duplicate the two textures by pressing Ctrl D and rename them. To rename you can either right click and select rename or simply press enter. Name the layers 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now select layer 1 and go to transform, then flip horizontal and transform flip vertical. Do the same for layer 3. Go to transform, flip horizontal and transform flip vertical. The next step is to create an adjustment layer. To do this, right click in your timeline, go to New and then select Adjustment Layer. Name it Settings. Go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for the Brightness and Contrast effect. Drag this effect onto the Settings layer and set the Brightness to 85 and the Contrast to 65. Next we need the Gaussian Blur effect. Drag this effect onto the Settings layer as well and set the blurriness to 10. Now we need a random generator to decide which paper texture layer is visible. For this, search for the slider control effect and drag it onto the settings layer. While holding down the Alt key, click the stopwatch next to the slider control. We want the paper texture to change about 4 times per second, so we will set the frequency variable to 4. Now we will generate a random seed 4 times per second to determine which texture will be visible. The fourth line of the expression will output an integer between 1 and 4. To control the visibility of the paper layers, open the opacity settings from layer 1 by pressing T on your keyboard and link the opacity to the slider control using the Pick Whip tool. Next, we need to adjust the opacity expression slightly. Open the expression and paste the code from the pinned comment. This expression sets the opacity to 100 if the layer's name matches the randomly generated number. If it doesn't match, the opacity is set to 0. Copy this expression to the other three layers by highlighting the entire expression and pressing Ctrl C on your keyboard. To open the opacity settings for each layer, press T on your keyboard and while holding down the Alt key, click the stopwatch next to opacity. Now you can paste the expression with Ctrl V. At this point you should have a randomly changing texture. For the next step we need to pre-compose all five layers. Select all layer by either clicking and dragging or pressing Ctrl A on your keyboard. Then right click and choose Precompose. Name the composition Flipping Paper and click OK. It's time to set our paper color. For this create a new solid by right clicking, selecting New, then Solid and name it Master. The color of this solid doesn't matter at this stage. Next create another solid in the same way and name it Slave. Again the color of the solid isn't important. Search in the effect panel for the fill effect and drag it onto both layers. Set the master color to any color you like. To do this, click on the color box next to the eyedropper icon. To synchronize the slave color with the master color, link the fill effect of the slave layer to the fill effect of the master layer. Another method is to copy the expression from the pinned comment to the fill effect of the slave layer. Set the blending mode of the master layer to multiply. 
If you don't see the blending mode options, simply press F4. If you only want to create a plain background, congratulations, you're done. If you'd like to create a checkered or line sheet, follow these additional instructions. Create a new solid by right-clicking, selecting New, then Solid and name it Grid. Search in the effect panel for the grid effect and drag it onto the grid layer. Set size from to width slider and set border to 1. Choose any color you like for the grid. Now search for the roughen edges effect and drag it onto the grid layer as well. Set edge type to spiky and border to zero. To give the squares a more dynamic look, drag the turbulent displace effect onto the grid layer. Set the displacement to cross displacement, the amount to 15 and the size to 10. To smooth out the edges, apply the Gaussian blur effect to the grid layer and set the blurriness to 2. I don't like the static look of the checker pattern, so let's make it more dynamic. Open the evolution options of the roughen edges effect and while holding down the Alt key, click the stopwatch to add an expression. Copy the expression from the pinned comment below. Now the checkered paper is done. To create line paper, move the anchor point of the grid effect out of the frame. Then adjust the corner settings of the grid until you achieve the line paper look you're aiming for. That's it! I hope this video has been helpful and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Bye!